Oh, I was going to the phones, right? Okay. <laughs> um, okay, Matt Saylor, ABC. Hi, John. Thanks for doing this. Yes, sir. Um, a quick question on the, the coming UAP report. Um, there's been some reporting that this could be coming as soon as this week or maybe even tomorrow. Can you say anything about what timing we should actually expect? The what report, Matt? Sorry, the UAP report, UFO report. Uh, that, that is uh, really for the DNI to speak to, Matt. As you know, this is a, a report, a, a congressionally mandated report. Uh, DNI is in the lead. Uh, it will be DNI who will be uh, making that report. Obviously, DOD has a role in helping, um, uh, in, in helping flesh out the information that will be in that report. But as for specific timing, I'd refer you to the DNI. Uh, Barb, did you have your hand up? I did. I wanted to follow up on a couple of things. Um, and the very last follow-up, and I hesitate to be asking this, but on the unmanned aerial phenomenon report, because you said, because many of these site reported sightings have been from military personnel, and because you said that DOD is assisting with this effort, can you tell us anything about what you have been able to rule out? Have you been able to rule out the science fiction scenario of any kind of life form? Is this mechanical phenomena? Is this uh, perhaps atmospheric? Can you, can you just say for people who are interested that you have ruled out there's any life forms out there? Uh, I would be getting ahead of a report that hasn't been submitted to Congress yet, and that's never a good idea for a spokesman in this town. So I don't want to get ahead of the report. We'll, uh, uh, and I refer you to DNI to There's speak to that. Nothing that you can rule out at uh, this point. I am not going to get ahead of a report that this agency is not writing uh, in response to a congressional mandate. Um, that would refer you to DNI for for more detail about that. Thanks. I think I've got time for one more, and I apologize for the, the time crunch today, but um, I do have to get going here. Uh, Paul Shinkman from U.S. News. And then one last question on the Pentagon's contributions to the UFO report. I've been speaking with a series of experts abroad who have expressed some concern about similar investigations in other countries having too much of a military focus and not enough input from civilian scientists. I wonder if that's a concern that the Pentagon has shared and whether that came up at all during this most recent review process. Uh, we're, we're participating in a DNI-led um, uh, uh, study, uh, uh, again, on uh, mandated by Congress. Uh, we're providing uh, context and information um, uh, that we have uh, on these uh, phenomena, and, and our focus is, on, again, on supporting uh, the DNI's efforts to produce this report, uh, that's that's where our, our focus is, and uh, and and again, that's our that's our lane, that's our place to be in, is to provide uh, the kind of context that we have, and the information that we have, uh, to help uh, the DNI uh, produce this report for Congress. Thanks, everybody. Sorry, I got a rush.